What's going on everyone? We're gonna take a look at one of our last 2021 Outback models. This is the 340BH. It is packed full with a bunch of features and it still gives you that stylish modern farmhouse interior. Uh, it comes out weighing 8,752 pounds with a overall length of 38 feet 6 inches. So this does come with auto leveling, which is very nice. Just behind there, you have your two very large propane tanks. You also have this casing to just help protect it and make it last longer. Nice fiberglass front cap and siding, which looks great. It even has the uh, accent lights that you can turn on while you are taking it down the road. And since this is Keystone, you have the industry's best three-year limited structural warranty. Coming over here on our camping side, you also have some pass-through storage and it seems to be a lot taller than your normal travel trailer uh, storage. So that's pretty nice. You can have extra camping gear go in there. Satellite and cable hookup plus an outlet. So if you wanted to set up a TV in your pass-through storage or even up on a table, uh, you can do that power awning that goes over this slide out so you really can uh, take advantage of this outdoor living space. Bluetooth capable outside speakers and then of course your main entrance with the oversized grab handle solid steps and since this is a 2021 model you are pre-wired for solar. On the other side of your slide out, you have this huge kitchen. You even have a light so you can see what you're doing um, if it happens to be dark outside when you're starting dinner cabinet storage, countertop space. I love this counter too. Um, I believe it is scratch proof, so it's metal. You don't have to worry about, you know, anything getting damaged. Satellite and cable hookup again, plus an outlet, so you can have a TV right here if you would like, even two. Uh, sink, more storage down below, and then this drawer pulls out to a couple burners. Very large mini fridge, if I can figure out which side it opens. I guess it's all nice and uh, put away so I won't show you that but you can have your beverages and stuff going there a rear ladder to climb up and just check on your roof and slide out maintenance make sure there's no debris or anything in your slide outs before running them in and you are uh, pre-wired for a backup camera if you want one two more slide outs on your non-camping side and I think that covers that so let's take a look at the inside all right, so as soon as we come in here, as you may notice, this is not plugged in, but it's so nice and bright in here because you have two very large windows that have uh, pull down blackout shades so you can kind of cover that up and sleep in if you'd like. But there's just so much natural light coming in because of how big these windows are. Then you have your uh, mattress right here. It does lift up for some additional storage. And tables are on both sides so you can have your personal belongings placed there. And you also have closet lockers above each with a mirror panel so you can use that to get ready in the morning. Below each closet locker is just an extra drawer. And then I'll show you what the closet looks like. Couple cabinets run along in between. And if you notice, you have kind of some open shelving. Maybe put your phone there to charge in the middle of the night, the book that you're reading, reading glasses, or just some decorations. You also have outlets. And over here on the right, you have a USB port to just charge your electronics while you are sleeping. You are prepped for a second AC here in the bedroom if you want one. And then at the foot of your bed is a spot for a TV, um, a mounting bracket to hang up. And then just below your bed, every single Outback has this. They are considered pet friendly because they don't have a carpet, but also underneath the master bedroom, there is a built-in kennel. So that is really awesome that they included your pet, your fur baby to come with you on your camping trip. Just outside your door is your control panel to access the um, awnings, slide outs, interior lights, everything all right here. So it's pretty nice that it's not too far from your door. And then on the other side, you have some hooks for your uh, jackets, dog leashes, keys, things like that. And then just across from your main entrance. Um, so if you have guests over at your campsite, they can easily just go to the restroom without having to track in all of that sand or mud or dirt and grime into your camper. To my left is the sink. Kind of some open storage right there, maybe for a trash can, countertop space, power if you need it. Love the black matte finish on the faucet. And then above is a medicine cabinet. 
More storage is down below. And then right across is your porcelain foot flush toilet. You actually have a lot of leg space, so you aren't feeling so uh, too claustrophobic in here. Stand-up shower with a really pretty three-paneled sliding glass shower door. Same finish on the uh, shower faucet. And a skylight up above. Plus, I feel like I always try to mention this, or sometimes I forget, a vent fan to help just circulate the air. And then coming out into our main living portion of the camper, this is just another glimpse of the gorgeous design elements in this coach. You have the darker tones and then the tans all across, but then you have that pop of white. I just think it all looks gorgeous. It really brings out that farmhouse feel that everybody loves so much. To my left is your theater reclining seats. This is the Thomas Paine collection. Built-in cup holders and remote control or snack storage, you can decide. And like I said, there is zero carpet in this camper. So even in your slide out, that is not carpet. It's just perfect for pet hair and just sweeping things up. Right across is your entertainment center. Jumbo size, all electric fireplace is down below and actually kicks off some heat. So you really could heat up this bad boy, um, especially on a chilly day like today. I definitely wish I had that on. Or during summer, uh, nights or even during the day you can just have those really pretty lights going without the heat your bluetooth speaker system is just above there that's where you can put your uh, blu-rays dvds uh, connect your phone to it you know control the panel for your outside speakers anything that you want and then you may notice that there is a button normally you'd see that next to your control panel for your awnings and slide outs but this is actually for the tv because it's a nice it's nice and hidden if i can speak today it's nice and hidden just behind your entertainment center. So when you want to look outside, have more natural light come in, you can kind of put the TV away, have the kids run outside and not be all cooped up in here all day. You can just use that to kind of roll it up. So pretty cool. And then just behind here, this gorgeous barn style sliding door. There's just a lot of extra storage space. There's a clothes rack up above for your kids' clothes. Maybe use it for some pantry storage, board games, extra sheets and blankets. And now coming into our kitchen space, all solid surface countertops, uh, gorgeous white countertops too. And there's also some sparkles in it, if you can see. Just next to your TV, you have extra countertop space. The price comes out to be $49,999 for everything. Storage down below microwave kind of some extra storage just next to that range hood three burner stove top and then there is your oven pots and pans drawer down below and then across the way is your island uh, all of the storage space is down below more countertop space stainless steel sink with a roll-up cover you also have this fancy schmancy spray nozzle Nice light pendants above your island too. And you also have a skylight that you can kind of use as uh, more natural light coming in or you can block that off if you want to. Very large refrigerator. It's a good size. And then across from your kitchen island is our booth dinette. And this will fold down to a sleeping space for another person, maybe two depending on size. I love that the tabletop matches the uh, darker tones throughout in the island and even on the barn style sliding door. The legs of the table are not uh, right in the middle. They're actually mounted against the wall. So uh, if you are a taller person, your knees aren't hitting the legs of the table. Pretty nice. More windows more storage too. There's just a lot of extra space in here. And then finally, just off the kitchen, right next to where all the snacks are, you have this amazing bunk room for your kids, your friends, uh, cousins, anyone really. To my left is our first bunk, very soft teddy bear mattress, nice and fluffy. You also have a window too. Ladder that can be put away, but there's some storage back there with the shelving. And then just next to that is a spot for a TV, all of their toys, electronics, clothes. They got places to put them so it's not just hanging around everywhere. 
very, very, very large window. And then just next to that, you actually have a regular size sofa. So a lot of the time they have those uh, matted sofas that you can fold out into a mattress. But here you actually have a sofa that you can relax in, but it also folds out into another sleeping space. So the adults can sit in here, uh, watch a movie with the kids, anything really. Another bunk is up above and you can easily just pull that down when you are ready to use it. It's just up like that so you don't hit your head while you're uh, watching TV. It also is rated for 150 pounds too. Uh, so potentially a full size adult is able to sleep up there as well. But there you have it. Any questions or concerns about this outback, you guys, feel free to let us know and we'll be happy to help.